<laughs> Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Let's play Beholder. My name is Weasel. We're set back a few minutes uh, because I did not realize that the save game would only uh, the game would only save once you complete a quest, not if you fail one. So I had to redo a few things, and I'm a little short on cash. But yeah, my son is still dead. Still got uh, killed while robbing a bank. And uh, all the other good things. Uh, I have profiled pretty much everyone in the building right now. and But I'm still trying to find more on this Roadhog guy. Especially something illegal. I'd also like to put in better cameras here. Blue shirt. Very popular with the citizens. Yeah, I want to buy a better camera. How about that? Oh, broken bottle. Yes, intriguing. That means he's violent. Clearly he has a broken bottle in his apartment. He's the worst. The Antichrist. Wait, I already looked for all of these. Not really interesting. Let's check the tape. Oh shit, he's back. Ah, damn it, he caught me. <sighs> he's barely out of his apartment. It's the worst. It's barely giving me a chance. Anyways, let's, let's go and uh, check out the doctor, Mr. Spock. I don't even know where he is right now. He must be leaving town. See if anything new is here. There's nothing of interest, necessarily. What's that? The ship model, right. I'm not gonna steal that. Nothing new. Oh, there he is. Yeah, for the funeral services of your son, right, the 1000. We're a little short on cash, which I really don't like. I'm gonna steal the spy glasses. They're kind of cool. I would like to get rid of him, because the doctor isn't really doing much for me anymore. I can't really find him doing something illegal, because there's no directive for that in yet. Eventually, we'll find out something. Oh, you're eating something? Good. Good, good. Leave your apartment. I want to install a better camera. I'd love to do that. I'm gonna just run in right now while the door is open. Ah, well. He would see. That would not be cool. Imperium Vines. Or Virus. Spy sh sh de I I can't read what's on the posters. Anyways, I'd like to replace these two cameras with good cameras. Jesus, where, where did I go? I apparently clicked upstairs. How odd. How peculiar. Buy one of the good cameras. Take one. Ah, shit, he's back already? You gotta be kidding me. You're barely out to eat something, and then you're coming back already. Worst. Anyone? Oh, Albert Meineke. Yes. Move him in. We had him in already. But, you know, a little, little earlier in the save game. I want to install the better camera. Ah, well. Might as well install it over here. Oh, wait. Nah. That's not necessary. Come on, Rotar. Get something to eat. He bores me. Well, let's watch him at least. Something like that. Come on. Fantastic. See if he's up to anything bad. Well, he's using the phone. He can speak. Unbelievable. Yeah, I like I like that we're tracking this. Whatever reason. Yeah, I see you smoking. I, I, I do see you. Oh, what do you want? What does my wife want? Probably some, some, some household money. When is the Rotar leaving? Because I'd really, really like to do something about that. Anyway, who haven't I really looked at? Pat Potrenka. Patrenka. Ro Rovina Petraka, that's her name. Jesus, can't say her name properly. Let's go ahead and check out her apartment real quick. She was fairly boring, but maybe I can find out a few more things about her. Just real quick. Nothing in the bookcase. Something in the chair, something fell beneath the cushions. A book. <sighs> I don't want to buy anything to blame something on her, so we're gonna see. Oh, theater mask. Oh, at least information that we can share with the ministry. I wouldn't mind that at all. Some extra cash. Oh, he's going to the fridge. Fantastic. Ship model. Book. I don't have a lot of time to go down there. Anything else? Nope, nothing else. Well, at least I got some. Oh, let's check the radio. Right. Real quick. Oh, a camera. Amateur photographer. Amateur photographer. Okay, Mr. Rothar. Actually, oh, the new guy is gone, so I can search his apartment. We have to be wary of making more cash because we. Oh shit, he's back! Great. Okay, what about the unemployed sack? 
He's still down there, probably eating. I'd like to have a better... Ah, freak, he's back. Just don't open the door. You know what? I'll replace one of the cameras down here with, for a better one. Why not? Actually, I'm gonna get two of those. Gonna put the good stuff in here. Nobody's escaping my wrath. Nobody's escaping ever. I will see you all. Yeah, only if they stand in the middle, I wouldn't be able to see them. Talk about Patrick Steph. Weird note. I found a note for you, darling. Call 893578. Thank you, my love. You're welcome. Ah, oh, how friendly. Okay. Well, let's call that number and see what that is about. I want to call and see. Let's hope it's nothing bad. Dial the number. Antoine, what happened? I'm in trouble. Those damn new tomorrow guys are after me. What? You're just a mechanic in the print shop. There's no time for jokes, Carl. You know I work for the government, but you decided not to tell Denton. Or you didn't know, even though it's your job to know. In any case, you must help me. How? Hide me. Your apartment would be the best place. Nobody would think I'm back. I'm not that stupid. I guarantee you're a handsome reward. We strike. The strike will sabotage thanks to me. I've completed my task from the Ministry of Resistance. You'll be well rewarded for your help. Sure, I'll help. Okay, you can stay in my office. I hope you won't be long. All I need is a couple of days, then I'll be picked up. Cool. Well, let's let's see let's see what happens if he stays uh, with me. I hope that's not gonna be a problem. <laughs> uh, it's gonna be awkward. Let's hope let's hope they don't come to take. Uh, uh, to, actually, I mean helping the government, so the police isn't coming. But let's hope it's not coming. So let's hope nobody else will. Uh, do, 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 do. Oh, a new directive. Wait, that's not a new directive. That's solved. I had that one before. I just haven't seen it yet. Okay, so there's currently no. No tasks for me to do. So let's see if I can profile anyone. Uh, right. Petrenka. Let's let's do that. Let's profile her. That's a good idea. And then let's see if anyone else wants to move in. That's a good idea. Nope, no one wants to move in. Okay, profile. Where is she? Petraka. Petraka, where is she? Five. Ah, yes. A handsome reward. 650 just to tell them that she likes boats. Or something along those lines. Uh... Well, let's talk to Antoine. Oh, someone's reading a book. Albert is reading a book. I'll stay with you for a couple of days. Okay, that's that's. I, I thought we talked about that. I I, I figured. Uh, let's go ahead and blackmail the guy. I wouldn't mind that. Where is he? Four blackmail. Forgot his name. Albert. What was that? Him? Yes. Yeah. You better. You better leave the money there. Yep. He is fantastic. Which gives me a chance to run up. Wait. Or is he getting money? I don't know. I'm the worst, as he's putting the money down here when I was blackmailing him. I found more! I found soda he's not allowed to have. So I'm gonna blackmail him again. Better blackmail him again. Um, anything else? Oh, wine. Da -da 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 -da. Don't mind me. I was not in your apartment. But I will take the money from the plant. And we're gonna blackmail him again. Oh, fantastic day. Man, that's an old one. Soda, soda, soda. That's from the- what? That's from September 4th. Where are we going? There we go, September 4th, and what order is that? 6044. Yeah, one of the first ones. Let's let's see if we can get another thousand from him. Well, waiting for a response. Let's let's see. In the meantime, I'll just wait at the door for him to walk down again. Ah, seems like he's about to pay. Yep, uh, he's about to pay uh, the money. Oh, fantastic. He must have lots of cash money. Oh, it's George. George is back. Oh. He's not gonna like me. Hi, George. How are you doing? Learn what he needs. Hello, Carl. You must have heard newspapers to know what happened. The situation got out of control. Trader Grubich escaped. What a pity. We'll pay a good price for his head. Do you know anything about him? He's in my basement. He asked for shelter. I don't know where he is. What a shame. Coming back to where you used to live is a smart plan. Nobody but me decided to inspect your building, but I believe you. Goodbye, Carl. Well, I'm glad he believes me. Yeah, I held a meeting about improving the conditions of their work environment. Okay, oh, that phone. He's still reading. Dude, you're just one screw up after the other. You should, you should not do that. Okay, grab it. Emergency call, ministry. Comrade Cal, you did the right thing providing Comrade Grubich with a shelter. His action caused the labor strike to fail in a big way. Antron Grubich is a hero who helped avoid bloodshed. We'll take him in a couple of days to Motherland. Well, thank you. Try to hide him from others. Like, who, who's, who is others? Oh. I don't like the sound of that. That is police sound. Anyway, I'm gonna buy two big cameras and I'm gonna replace them with the one in the kitchen. Uh, what is the police doing? Is there just- are they just picking him up again? Seems that they're picking him up. 
Uh oh. They don't seem friendly. They just kicked the door in. Let's. Uh, are they arresting him? That's odd. It's very odd, actually. Oh well. Not my problem. Anyone want to move in? No, nobody wants to move in. It's okay. We have full vision now down here, which I like. Someone's smoking. Oh, Albert. Yeah, keep smoking. Gives me a chance to look into your apartment. Oh, what is that? What is this? You live in the best country in the world, and other countries are jealous of you. Each of our <laughs> citizens receives all that he or she needs. Let's talk to this. I'm. What's going on? Just of Markovic. This is the mobile propaganda unit. According to our schedule, we'll be here for four days. Four days? Uh, let's strike a deal and you move on according to your schedule. Aren't you tired of hearing this? How does this work? Easy. It's basically a giant moving radio. I need to set a frequency on the panel as well as a few other options you don't need to know about. Uh, can't you turn it down? I can't. I can turn it up though. <laughs> let's strike a deal and you move on according to your schedule. Aren't you tired of hearing this? They give us earplugs and headache syrup. Deaf guys get special treatment. I wish I were deaf. Let's strike a deal and you'll move on according to your schedule. Nope, that would be neglecting my duty in four days. All right. Eat to live a happy and carefree life. Wait, so it just keeps sugar, going on. Bread, and certificates of appreciation. Oh my just god. Remember, our this foes are is continually not good. Against us. Thankfully, our great leader effortly disperses mm. the waves of terror our treacherous enemies send crashing upon our great state. Still, well, you must be vigilant. Keep an eye on your surroundings. Watch out for agents of sabotage and report every transgression. Do not let aggressive imperialism cast a shade over our labor and valor. To counter the hostile attacks and defend our right to live as we wish, we will move forward along our own path and prove that the people and the party are one. Our great leader is the mind, honor, and conscience of the state. May he live long and prosper. You I already hate this so much. In the world, and other I, I can't. You. I, I, oh god, oh, it's repeating now. I can't. Oh no. It's like, they're making a good point though. They're making a very good point. I bet they are. Okay, 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 I'm gonna... Okay, everyone's reading apparently. That's the thing. Okay, nothing new of interest. Ah. Okay, uh, I'm, I'm gonna pay him. I can't handle this. Here, take 500 bucks. Please. Please. Go away. Oh my god. Let's strike a deal. Ask Lee, $500. Let's imagine the Ministry of Development had a breakthrough and we learned up to speed time. One button press and it's time for you to go. Okay. Sorry, but the keys to the mobile propaganda unit didn't appear in my pocket. Your magic button isn't working and I'll get the keys on time. What about money? I could use some money, thanks. But so you don't feel tricked, I wish you happiness and good health. You scum. Remember, we are here to celebrate our great leader's victory. Uh, and until that great day, the Ministry of Language Purity declared the year without swearing. Mind your words, you can get fined if you swear before December 21. Are you kidding me? Oh god, I can't get rid of this. I don't want to listen to this anymore. This is uh, awful. Oh, God. Well, isn't that lovely? Fine. So, I'm just gonna just... Four days. I want to blow him up. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, the phone is ringing. Please tell me that I can't get rid of him somehow. Please. Uh, pick up the phone. Ministry. Oh. I'll get a task. Hello, Carl. This is Denton. Our team is held again. You're surely noticed the propaganda near your building. It's hard to miss it. It keeps going day and night. None of the tenants can sleep well. The lack of sleep is the least of the evils. The worst part is the content that the rig is cramming into our people's ears, but we have a plan that will advance our cause. I don't want to kill anyone. Of course not. How could I? All we need to do is the technology mir miracle to broadcast our ideas. Uh, you have to find a way to change the frequency. 101.9. You're very smart. Should even mention that the job will pay well. As soon as we get the program we need, we'll receive your payment. Sure. Sure. I'm, I'm getting a task now to uh, pick up the phone. Get a task. Hello, Carl. The famous General Errol Johnson is coming to town. Even though he's retired, Johnson has agreed to give a series of lectures at the university. We've also arranged to give him a speech uh, to some school kids at the stadium. You must uh, uh, move in ASAP. Anything else? Uh, the state is eager to pay his expenses. It's your duty as a state employee to provide Johnson with everything he needs. Fulfill his every request out of respect for his previous achievements. But no buts call. The ministry will reimburse you after Johnson moves out. Execute. 
All right, fine, move him in. I have no idea how I could change the frequency. Talk about the car. About that car, what exactly? Find a way to change the setting on your own. Ask to change the settings, 5,000. Um... Find a way to change the settings on your own. 500 reputation points. Fine, I'll spend them. Okay, you're a state official after all, I guess I can tell you. First, wait until I leave. Civilians must not approach the mo mobile propaganda unit in my presence. Second, using a screwdriver, remove the protective panel. Three, find the frequency. The frequency is found by the administration. All I have to do is set the volume and move from info point to another. And the last thing, enter the code. It's our great leader's birth date. Oh shit, I don't know. I don't know what the great leader's birthday is. December 21st? Is there like a directive about that? I don't know. Maybe I can, maybe I can listen. Oh, God. That guy needs to go away. Badly. Okay, reference. What would you like to know? I'd like to know about the... Damn it. I'd like to know about the birthday. This is so... So how do I get him away from the car? Learn when the shift is over. Well, I wouldn't mind dinner, some booze. Get me a bottle of rum and I'll happily return to my barracks. Understood. I have whiskey. Bring booze to the mechanic. There you are again. I'm starting to freeze in this wind. You'll get warm soon. Okay, what does he was? Told me everything. Mm. A bottle of rum. Hey, Nathan. My compliments. Trade. What are you selling? Please tell me you're selling rum. There. Okay. I can't wait to change this. Bring booze to the mechanic. There you are. I brought you rum. Great. One soldier does make a battle. I gotta go. Yeah, get out of here. Fantastic. Now I can work on this. Open the program. I need a screwdriver for those bolts. Oh, oh crap. The phone is ringing. Too many things are happening at once right now. For me, the sound is really loud. I turned it down for you guys so you don't have to listen to that over and over again. Super loud. Pick up the phone. Ministry. You should settle Inga Birkenfeld, famous scientist, in the house as soon as possible. Oh shit, that means I have to get someone out of here. Okay, I'll do that in a second. First, I'm gonna need a screwdriver. Where the frig am I gonna get a screwdriver from? I don't have screwdrivers. Maybe I'm storing something in my in in the table. Nope, doesn't look like it. Okay, uh, let's let's talk to 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 the guy Ariel Johnson, retired. Uh, how long will you be staying? I'll give several speeches. Your arrival is a great honor for me. My final speech is to be given at the school at the kids at the stadium. Feel free to come with your children. Ha! <laughs> Good one. From school to battlefield. It's an accelerated program for turning boys into men. Oh, that sounds great. Uh, do you need anything? Talk about the country. What do you think, Comrade Johnson? What future awaits us? Awesome, Carl. We're at the breaking point of the war. Food will start arriving soon. For now, there's not enough food for everyone, but those who serve our state honestly get to eat. I have nothing to add. Obviously, I'm going to search for his apartment in a hope to find uh, anything on him, basically. I know... <sighs> I always hear they're Asians of sabotage. Okay, so... World map. Contains marks on almost every page. Interesting. Well, he travels a lot. I mean, after all, he is a famous personality. Caviar, 500. Oh, fine. I'll pay for caviar. The government will pay afterwards, I guess. Oh, Tiger Bomb. Excellent for stopping a runny nose. Oh, he has a pistol? That's illegal. And that's illegal, too. I mean, he's a, he's a war hero, so I'm not going to report him, obviously. I kind of want to steal a pistol, though. Maybe I can do something with the pistol. That'd be nice. Screw it. I'll steal it. I stole his pistol. That's not going to be weird at all. Oh, the phone is ringing and I barely missed it. Oh, okay. Grab it. Fantastic. Ah, pick up the phone. Private call. Danton again. We've heard there's a certain Ariel Johnson living in your building. Yes, he's a retired general. And I've heard he's scheduled to give a speech. If I'm not mistaken, this is a cover-up. This man might turn out to be a general specializing in suppressing peaceful protest. We've long known him as the Aglo Butcher. Two years ago, he practically drowned that town in blood. Over 600 people dead and several thousand injured. Aglo has always been a, been a small town. It's basically ceased to exist. The main enterprise, the claw factory, closed. Now it's a ghost town, and that's not the only case. Let me guess, you want me to find something confirming your theory? You're absolutely right. Among other things, the Butcher was in charge of the Tukan operation. And was rewarded for this. What operation? It was a real bloodbath. 400 rookies against a battalion of tanks. First they were deprived of their minds, then their future. They're nothing but meat now. Sorry, it's not easy for me to suppress me emotions. Me emotions, matey. Me nephew died there. <laughs> My condolences. condolences. Find proof he took part in that operation. Call me if it's him. Well, did I find information? Dial the number. Talk about bills. Ministry of Orders. He's spending uncontrollably. I keep getting bills I can't afford. He's one of the most important people. Uh, okay, we're not getting anything. 
Still have no screwdriver, which is kind of a bummer and worries me. Regardless, oh, drinks for General Ariel Johnson. We're gonna break in here and kick out her, whatever her name was, I forgot. We're just going to place the pistol and then we're going to report her and then she's out. Fantastic. Or do I have anything else illegal? Because the pistol I think is worth a lot, I want to say. Oh yeah, right, the soda is illegal. Oh god, I can't handle this. Okay, put the soda in there. Oh, actually I don't need that because she was reading a book. Oh, I'll steal back the soda. Ah, freak. Oh, now I'm getting into problem. Oh, great. I stole, in adherence to order 2765, you are fired for negligence. Damn it! I just stole back the soda that I put in there. But this is not a problem because we are basically uh, at the same time. The save game just saved after, oh yeah, there it is, drinks for general. Ariel Johnson, yeah, sure, I'll pay that. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, file a report on whatever her name is. What was her name, her? Yes, Rovena Petraka. Write a report. Ravina Petraka living in apartment number five? Yes. God, that talking. I can't. I can't. It needs to go away. This is the most annoying thing ever. I can't. I can't hardly concentrate as well, which is really odd. Imagine you would have to actually listen to this. I mean, this is how they drive people out. By just blasting them for days with music and sounds. Okay, 6.53. And you read a book. Fantastic, she's getting kicked out. Ah, oh, poor woman. Poor woman. She, need, she needs to make space for that, that person that moves in. I forgot which one that was. Oh. I know you're reading a book. Nobody freaking... Nobody freaking cares about Ariel Johnson. I wish I could find evidence. I, I don't know what it would be. But yeah, let's repair the apartment. There you go. And we're going to put in, what's her name? Uh, the new scientist. Inga Berk Birkenfield and Geta Birkenfield. This mother and daughter would like to rent a large apartment. They plan to stay in long term. Their eyes look evil. They're, they're up to no good. Well, I hope that, that finishes the task. I'm getting some money for that. Dollar number. No, that's not it. Let's see. Not, not getting a, res uh, a reward just yet. Oh, maybe maybe our uh, trader here, Nathan, has a screwdriver. I gotta change this. Can't handle it. Trade! What are you selling today? Take a look. Yay! Screwdriver. Okay. Okay. Open the programmer. Let's see. Choose the right coat. 21st of December. Code incorrect. Damn it. Choose the incorrect coat. Uh... 1912, code correct, cool, change frequency, 1019, fantastic, at least it's different now. In his attempt to cling to power, the state constantly feeds us false propaganda, claiming the motherland is in danger, and the party-controlled mass media call for workers and farmers to find spies among their family members. It's time to say no to their ongoing oppression. Hundreds of thousands of laborers have answered a call and are assisting the revolution and the arrival of a new tomorrow. Our country is falling apart and our people are starving. Our motto is your clarion call. Muster all your strength to fight the real enemy, the tyranny of the so-called great leader. Join the movement toward a new tomorrow. Let the voice of truth be heard across the land. Citizens. War is raging. Well, at least, at least we're listening to something else, but it's still blasting my head. I can't handle this. Uh, this is horrible. Okay, I, I, I can't, I can't, I can't. Okay. I think I'm done for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like. And, oh my god, I, I'm, I'm going to wait until this freaking thing is gone. Until I continue, uh, again. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. I'm Weasel. I'm out and I hope to see you around. Bye-bye.